Hey there, welcome to Tuesday Talk with Mike and Jama, living in the 321. So we're really excited. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait, wait. What? Why is it oh, that yeah. I know you as Jamie, but you are saying Jama? Um, Jama, Jama. Jama, yeah, say it right. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad you brought that up because there's probably people that are wondering, wait a minute, who's Jama? In fact, I yeah. get people call me and they're like, I'll say, hi, this is Jama, and they'll say, is this Jamie? I'm like, yep, it's Jamie. Yeah. Um, so let me explain. Okay. I was born and my mother gave me the name Jama. Okay. And my middle name is Lynn. So Jama Lynn. It's actually a pretty name. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Had it all through high school, through college. And then um, I got so tired of everybody mispronouncing my name. Like literally my first grade teacher was the only one that said it right. So when substitute teachers came in, everybody would just loved loved it because they knew their teacher was going to butcher my name. Yeah. And so she always did. So when I when I left college, I decided to go by my nickname, which was Jamie. That's what my dad always called me. Okay. Okay. So I went by Jamie, and so my uh, children all knew me as Jamie, and they knew my name was Jamie. But Jamie is what I went by. That's mm-hmm. where for thirty years I was Jamie. Yeah, because I've known you for ten years. Right. And then all of a sudden. And so was... why would I go back to a name that nobody ever says right? Right. 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 <laughs> if I didn't have to. So it is mm-hmm. my legal name. So now I'm in real estate, and so you have to sign documents. You have to put signs up with your legal name. Yes. And that is why I'm Jama. And she's not running from the law. And I'm not running from because okay. he just asked me that question. I'm like, no, it's my legal name. He, I'm like, I said, why in the world would I pick that name to go to? It wasn't my legal name. <laughs> um, but I get all kinds of nicknames. Like, uh, let's see, Jama, Jamal, not Jama, that's the real name. Jama, Yama, Jamal. I, yeah. um, I was having a hard time. I was saying Jama. And then my middle name is Lynn. So like CVS thinks that uh, my middle initial L, they think I'm Jamal. It's super uh, fun. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> I always go, thanks, mom. But actually, I like my name when it's said right. Right. Yeah. So. And I'm Mike. And he's Mike. <laughs> anyway, let's get it going. All right. All right. No, four, I'm one, excited one, about and this three, week. Two, one. I know I am too. I'm sorry. I, we, uh, the, uh, let me stumble over a bunch of words here real quick. And then I'll say, I'm excited about this week too. Why are you excited? I'm excited because look. Oh, puppy day. I know. This is my puppy. March 23rd is National Who's, Puppy Day. Yes. Who's your puppy? My puppy, this beautiful girl right here, is Nala. And mine is Fanny. Fanny. I love Fanny. I know. She's a sweet little pity. She but, is super but sweet. She has no mean bone in her body. No. No. So. She is a super sweetheart. So, um, March 23rd, National Puppy Day. And, um, and the very next day. Yep is well march 24th right <laughs> <laughs> um, credit card reduction day i know i love that day well my it, wife doesn't she thinks it's the opposite but i love that day <laughs> well i love that day for other reasons it's my son joe's birthday nice it's also the due date of my next grandson otis dean who will be born in sweden otis dean otis dean that's a nice oklahoma name don't you think in sweden but it is oh, going to be Otis born Dean. Sweet. Yeah. Is that how they say it? No, Odin. No. Well, Odin. Odin is a Swedish Odin. name. Okay. But Otis, I call, is a football player Oklahoma name. Okay. Don't you feel? Yeah. Sure. It doesn't matter. I can't wait to see him. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, National Puppy Day. So, we thought it would be kind of fun yes. on the 411. To show our In the 321. To talk about puppies a little bit. Yes. Where can you take your puppy? So... The beach, obviously, we have like 72 or 73 miles of ocean or yeah. front on the um, this county. And so one beach that I know for sure is dog friendly, like you can, it's the known beach to go for dogs, um, is Canova Beach. And it's basically yes. the O'Galley Causeway. I, do you know the number? I never know the numbers because I grew up here. So we just call it O'Galley or Melbourne. Do right. you know what the street number is of that mm, street? No idea. I don't either. But it's the O'Galley Causeway, O'Galley Boulevard all the way down until it runs into the ocean, and that's Canova Beach. Nice. And um, you can take dogs in. Apparently there's a lot of regulars, and big dogs, little dogs, it doesn't matter. Um, and they all get to know each other, and uh, I know I've taken Nala, she loves the beach. And it's nice. really fun. Well, I haven't taken mine to the beach, because mine don't like the beach. But the uh, but I also know that Satellite Beach has a dog park. Somewhere. A dog park, yeah, they yes. do, so, they do. And I know that's friendly. There's also, I think, another beach in, in Titusville, Playa Linda area, although this is what I was just recently told, um, that the nudist beach at Playa Linda just got <laughs> shut down. So now the nudists are moving to the dog part, the uh, dog, which I don't know if that's true or not, a little sauciness in the 321, yeah. but just uh, putting it out there just in case. But Canova is a great one. I am going to go tree. So do you ever take your dogs to, to like 
d- restaurants or anything? We do. We uh, we can take them down into Coco Village. They they're oh, yeah. really they dog are friendly. Huge dog friendly down yeah, there. And I love that. And, and they have so. like a little outdoor cafe areas too, which is super fun. Right. And Fanny though, Fanny's so friendly to everybody. We really don't get to take her a lot because she she wants She's to meet and greet. Yes. She super sweet. Now Nala is um, on her perfect weight. It's supposed to be five pounds. She's probably seven pounds right now. She was up to 10. She was like a sausage, but she's about seven now. Um, but so so what I like about the little dogs is they basically poop Tootsie Rolls yeah. and like, you know, it's easy. You can keep her in your lap or whatever. So oh, she course. loves to go bye-bye. Does Fanny like to go bye-bye? Fanny does not like to go bye-bye because she thinks that she's going to the, the vet. vet. Yeah. Yes. Nala loves it. So anytime I can take her with me on a little trip, I do. So like Home Depot, Lowe's, she loves it. Um, and then... So one of my favorite restaurants to go to breakfast, and I'll take her occasionally if I'm not going anywhere else to breakfast. And that is, um, I always call it peanut butter and jelly, but it's not that. Um, it's P.S. Palm Shores B. Bistro. Right. Palm Shores Bistro on US 1 yes. in the Palm good, Harbor area. Good place. Yeah. And they've got this whole uh, deck area. And it's gorgeous because you can see the river right there and yep. really good food. Great, great um, food. And you can bring your dogs outside. So that's, that's, a, awesome. that's a nice place to go to. If you're looking for a place, it's great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. But uh, I love and that place. And you can even get breakfast all day long. Yeah. So yep. I love that. Yep. All right. So now we one other thing that's going on that week is, or this week is uh, the 24th, is Chris Tomlin. Yeah. He's a Christian artist. He's playing at the Calvary Chapel Melbourne uh, campus. So it'll be great. Chris Tomlin's a great singer. Just love it. Yep. So. Yep. That'll all be right. awesome. So all right. So moving on. Next segment. True, not true. True, not true. All right. Contract price is automatically the closing the price. closing price Ooh, thank you for helping you're welcome i couldn't read my writing <laughs> so contract price price automatically so the whatever you go under contract for it is that automatically the price that you're going to close at every time false 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 what it's false what do you mean so why is it false well there's um a couple of uh, i always say it's not where you start it's where you finish nope. and so the starting price you're going to get through the door under contract but you got a couple of things you have to go through inspections yeah. right so maybe the inspection doesn't go so well there's some things that need to be done um maybe you know maybe it's polybutylene plumbing yeah and you cannot get insurance with polybutylene plumbing right. the owner seller maybe didn't know because only until about a year and a half ago you still could get insurance right. so that's kind of a newer thing about absolutely no insurance on that so that needs to be repaired right repiped so that would be something right so that might be a negotiation that might be a concession or whatever might change the ultimate net price of the home um but then that's so you'd have the inspections and then you go to appraisal right appraisal appraisal may not appraise and so there's another part that you can negotiate that's why you need a realtor to be able to negotiate those things that yeah. can get you to the price at the closing table right so that yeah so you're so it's not always where you start not always it's always where you finish yes so Ooh, that's like a good that. point that yeah good. The uh, which we kind of you kind of hit this earlier. So the inspection is the inspection pass or fail? Is it is it going to keep you from buying oh, the house? Like if you had a bad inspection, does that right. mean that true you cannot true. buy the house? Right. Um, no, I mean that's just not true because inspections let you let you know the quality of what you're buying, right? Um, it lets you know all the things that might be wrong with it. But you know, just like you know, if you're going to buy a dog. Mm-hmm. What if that dog only has three legs? You not gonna buy that dog? Oh, you might love that dog. Yeah. That dog might be the sweetest thing ever. You're still gonna buy that dog, but only right. has three legs. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, same thing with a house. You might have a house that are easy things, easy little things. You might even have a house with an inspection that has a bigger thing, like the polybutylene plumbing. Yeah. That's fixable. It's construction. Anything is really fixable if you negotiate and right. do what you want. So it's up to you. But you get. To know what you're what you're right talking about. the inspection is just for your benefit for you to know the house so yep. you know you don't even have to have an inspection you don't but i would I never would recommend never, that never, never ever buy one without one yes because even ever. even the best even new builders will mess things up for sure so, yep 100 percent. awesome awesome all right well moving on things to ask yourself things to ask yourself well one of the things we did say was how far in advance should you start getting your house ready to sell okay so that and that kind of depends so you got to ask yourself well how i'm gonna sell in the summer what should i be doing now you of course well you got to think well do i need yard work done do i need to get my grass up to par do i need to fix my roof because that's a big thing in florida now is there 
you know, things that I can be done and how long and how much money is it going to cost? And how do you know? How do I know? What? How do you know all this exists as a homeowner? As a homeowner? Yeah. Because... Who of... should you call? Ghostbuster? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, no. No, but you should call your realtor because oh, they can yes. come over <laughs> and do a pre-listing appointment, right? I do pre-listing appointments yes, all the time. Yes, I do too. Exactly. Sorry. So we'll go over there. You may not be ready to list for six months or a year or whatever, but you want to know what you need to do to get ready, right? Yes. And at my pre-listing appointments, as the same as yours, I'm sure, we'll tell you what? biggest bang for the buck, the number one, number two, number three, like if you only have X number of dollars, here's the order of importance for buyers. Right. Right? So you're not putting all your money over here. And really, this is where all of it should have gone right. to give you the best bang, right? Right, right. I, as a matter of fact, I was in a house this morning and they did a beautiful job on the bathroom. Yeah. But left the 1950s window in the bathroom. Mm, ooh, so why yeah. would you why would you do something and then leave yeah. an old, crusty, nasty looking window? Yeah. You know, so, you, you know, we would tell you that. that 100%. Probably, yeah. I will say this to me um, and my buyers and what I've seen. The absolute number one thing that buyers look at more than anything else is cleanliness. And I don't mean like, you know, everything's neat and tidy. I mean like deep, deep cleaning, like the baseboards, the fans, every every little detail because they feel like if they if it looks super clean, even if it's dated or whatever, right. they feel like it was well maintained. Yes. So to have a professional come in and and, and I know I have them, you have yep. them. If you need a you know reference, let us know. But to have them come in and do a thorough, super deep clean. That is important. Yes. Number one thing. Boom, number one. And thing. then there's others, of course, after that, but that right. is the number one. But it depends. Again, you know, the the as a realtor, we're going to tell you yep. what is best and you determine how Based long on your budget to. and whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. All right. All right. So um, I guess we're ready for the motivation. I know. So I, I like this one. Success <laughs> is how high you bounce when you hit bottom by George General yeah. Patton. Um, a bounce back ability to me is a yes. big thing. I mean, it it's is. huge, right? We all have those moments, yes. uh, you know, things happen to us. I do have one friend, her, her nickname is Murphy. And I will say, I've never seen the most ridiculously weird things happen to this girl. Yeah. They don't happen in my life. Like, I'm like, that this doesn't happen to me, but yeah. being, I'm like, how does this happen to you? It is hilarious and her nickname is Murphy. It's mm. so funny, Murphy's I'm like, law. It really does happen. So anyway, but yeah, but but how? But she's amazing though. I mean, bounce back ability. Yes. You know, hit it and. How are you gonna? Change your state. How are you gonna reply to that? Yeah. You know, yep. it's, and and it's kind of like us. We bounce back. Yeah. You know, so. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Cool. Well, all right. thank you all so much, and you have a great week. And this is Mike and Jama on. Tuesday talk, living Tuesday in the three two one. Yeah.